Hello, I'm Lieutenant General Todd Seminite, 54th Chief of Engineers, and we're on the road again. Today we're in Chicago with two great districts, and we're at the Brandon Road Lock and Dam. This is a significant project because we've got to be able to make sure we keep navigation going up and down the Illinois River, but at the same time, we're trying to prevent this emerging threat of Asian carp getting up to the Great Lakes. And with me are these two district commanders. I've got Aaron Rising, who's the Chicago district commander. He's in the Lakes and River Division, and he runs the electric barriers. We'll talk about those in a minute. But also Steve Sattinger is with us, and uh, he's the guy that runs the lock and dam here and part of the Mississippi Valley Division from the Rock Island District. So, Steve, uh, a very, very complicated slide here. Can you tell the core team a little bit about what are we trying to achieve here? Sure. Yes, sir. So Brandon Road Lock and Dam is really the last line of defense against Asian carp. At this point, we can prevent upstream migration into the Great Lakes uh, and preventing it going into uh, the, the Plain River. A lot of different things going on here. So, so we have non-structural alternatives, boat launches in case the fish does get through. We can launch nets and get biologists out there to see what happens. The flushing lock complex, we're going to re-engineer our, our lock in yellow here. And that's going to take the floaters and the fish larvae that may be in the, in the water in the lock and flush them downstream. So like eggs and stuff, it'll push it all downstream. Absolutely, okay. yes sir. That's one of the technologies. We're going to build an engineered channel, concrete, uh, up to 2,000 feet long all the way to the end of this canal here at the end of our island. And that's going to be a, allow us two things. It's really inhospitable to the fish because uh, it's an engineered channel and it allows us to put future technologies in that Erdic and other engineer partners are working on right now. We're going to have uh, air bubbling deterrent, deterrents which will uh, flush fish out between the barge entrainment where they sometimes uh, travel. We're going to put in an electric fence at the very end to so really keep fish out. And then, Steve, where are we in this process? How so far along? We, uh, we're working on the, the, the Chief's report. We think it'll be in the Chief's hands around Christmas time. He could sign it at the beginning of February and, and bring it to Congress for testimony. And then uh, what happens next is uh, we have to go through engineering and design, and then once that's approved through Congress and we go in to assume and funding some, and we would do construction. So still a long way to go. One of the mo most important features you talked about is this electric barrier. Uh, Aaron, you've got, I think, three of these working now. Tell the core team a little bit about what is this barrier, how does it work, and, and how effective do you think it is? Yes, sir. Well, Chief, welcome to Chicago. So the Chicago District has been running electric dispersal barriers since 2002. We okay. built the first demonstration barrier in 2002, and we followed up in 2009 and 2011 with two additional barriers. Currently, we're under construction with per what we call Permanent Barrier 1, which is going to be the Mac Daddy of all, all three barriers in the end. It's going to defend against the smallest fish possible in the water. Ultimately what we're doing is we're building an electric fence. We're putting power in the water, creating a voltage potential so when the fish comes into that electric field, it starts to feel that sensitivity and that, and that shock and at some point it decides to turn around. If it keeps going, it's going to knock that fish out, it flips upside down and then it floats back downstream. We're talking Chicago's, uh, Chicago's about 40 miles that way. The electric dispersal barrier is about 10 miles upstream from this point right here. It is currently the only structural defense in the Illinois waterway and the Chicago area waterway system preventing Asian carp movement uh, up, uh, upstream into Lake Michigan. So, Aaron, we also just had the lieutenant governor from Illinois here. She just left. Uh, on behalf of Steve and your districts, talk a little bit about the collaboration that we've got to do and how you're trying to get so many different agendas maybe to be able to find the good enough solution here. Yes, sir. Well, I think it's really a special relationship we have here, really across MSC and district boundaries. First off, my relationship, our uh, Chicago's relationship with Rock Island is strong. And really what's beneficial about that is Rock Island really understands the navigation industry. Chicago, we've been working the aquatic invasive species fight for many, many years. And so we really understand it from an environmental and aquatic invasive species. Okay. We bring those two capacities together. We have a combined PDT that's putting together this plan. I have planners, engineers, biologists that are working hand in hand with Steve's team and Rock Island's team to put the best possible plan together. When you expand that, we have very similar stakeholders. We all work in Illinois, and so we're constantly overlapping and working this. And I think this has really been a tremendous success story. Well, and 
I think the other thing, to sum it up, we always say in the Corps, we've got to deliver the program, and this is a complicated project. I was here about a year ago, and I, uh, and I asked the whole team, what can we do to speed it up? And so we've already moved the delivery of the Chief's report up about six months, and now what we've got to do is continue to stay committed to see this through. And the Corps of Engineers is committed to be able to balance this navigation requirement along with making sure we're protecting the environment. So both you guys, thanks for a job very well do. Steve's uh, relatively new to command, thanks to, uh, to signing up to be a commander. And Aaron, you're doing a phenomenal job up in here Chicago, in Chicago. So, so from Brandon Road, bottom line is uh, really focused on trying to take care of the Asian carp by maintaining navigation.